Good morning, Year 7, and what we're going to be focusing on today is I'm going to be showing you how to use a microscope. Now, in order to use a microscope, you'll need to know exactly what all the different parts of the microscope are. So if I start, first of all, with the arm of the microscope, that's this part here. Now, the arm of the microscope is where you should pick up the microscope in order to carry it and move it around the classroom. So when you go to collect a microscope, it's very important that you only pick it up using the arm of the microscope. Don't pick it up using the top part or any other part just in case you break it. The arm of the microscope is designed to bend and move so you can use it to make yourself more comfortable when looking at the microscope. If I start from the bottom and work my way up, on the bottom of the microscope you have a mirror. The mirror is used to shine light through the hole in the bottom all the way up through to the lens at the top so you can see. After the mirror, the next part is your aperture. Now, the aperture hole can be altered by moving the different parts around. Every time you use a microscope, you want to make sure that this is set to the biggest hole possible, okay? So, mirror, aperture hole. We then have this big black square by here. Now, this big black square is what's known as the stage. The stage is where you will put your slide to look at, and you will try and get it above the hole in the middle. In order to hold the slide in place, you have these two little pins that can move about and up and down to keep your slide in place. After that, we then move on to our objective lenses. All the microscopes in the school have three objective lenses. There is a times four, times 10, and a times 45 magnification. They move around in order for you to alter the magnification and increase the size of the image you are looking at. And it's very important that you always start on the smallest magnification. The next thing I'm going to focus on is these. These are your focusing wheels. Now, some microscopes in the school have two focusing wheels, some only have one. You use the focusing wheel to move these lenses closer and further away from the slide in order to focus the image. And the last thing we have at the top here is the eyepiece lens. Now, the eyepiece lens is the part of the microscope that you look down. And that's it for the introduction to the microscope.